Ryzen and he's just he's using the Amanti tag instead of somebody else's. I know he signed up as a Manzi. Like, this isn't us putting it in. This is how he signed up. Um, but DK Pit. Pokemon Stadium. Um, I mean, ideally in this matchup, Pit's going to be using his superior mobility, and uh, he's the only one in here with projectiles, obviously. Uh, but he's going to try to use those to really just run circles around this DK. Um, and so I don't like that he's... It's about even, but I don't like that he's throwing himself right into the path of this giant gorilla. Um, especially because that's very on Amanzi like Amanzi is very much the type of player to sit back, dash dance, uh, use some of his projectiles, and just make the player come to you, make it feel very tentative. Uh, try to get that to happen, but instead he's running right at DK and getting grabbed and getting punished for it. What's up, Darth Shard here? Yup. All right, so DK's up. Okay, I like the jab. Isn't it amazing how DK can just like combo anyone out of his throws? Doesn't matter the way, just like mm -hmm. he's got an option for it. I mean, and it makes sense for his character. Yeah, I totally agree. Like, I'm glad that he has that. Yeah. I know some people say like, oh, there's like auto auto throws, auto this, but like he still has to follow. He still has to choose the mix-ups and do everything like that. Yeah. But as far as a character, he is a giant gorilla who just like <laughs> it's what you kind of imagine. Yep. He hits hard oh, and like just grabs. Tears. And apparently has back airs. It's the one thing I don't yeah. think fits the character, and it's the one thing every single DK does. Yeah, it's true. That's basically how you win with melee DK, I think. Okay, yep. he goes a little low. Back airs, not bears. So I feel like I feel like arrows maybe like I don't know how useful they're gonna be because it seems like uh, the up B for DK has enough armor to like see. And I was saying that like projectiles. I think it can, but I want him to see him using them from yep. further oh, away. Oh man, he's using those tilts to just like to just kind of center stage yep. so well. Mm -hmm. No, what I was saying is that with. Uh, Pitt's superior mobility. Um, yeah. Abel, he's going to be, be able to stay in the air a lot better, and his projectiles. Like, mm -hmm. if theoretically, Pitt should be running circles around DK, yeah. and it's not happening. Right. Amansi keeps running at DK instead of circling. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. I like just the choice to grab the lead. Just so nice. The tech chases are real. Yo, let's go. Ooh. That's and gonna that's going to kill. It. Yeah. What a nice stock. And it's about even again. Just running away, just let Connor use his invincibility up. Okay, nice near. Oh, I like that uh, up yeah. B out of shit. Or up B to like. Every DK course. uses, I'm just always surprised at when they use up B. Because right? I think of it as out of shield, or I think uh, as it as recovery, but so many of them use it as a defensive option, mm -hmm. or they'll use it as a, like, I'm going to use it to break up what you're trying to yes. do. Um, I guess similar to the way Nice Climbers might use Squall, or uh, Mario or Luigi might use their Tornado. Totally. But for some reason, I just don't think about it as DK. Oh, the reverse bear, so nice, okay. And yep, that's, that's going to be it. Yeah, you get a DK low enough, he cannot yeah. come back, and that's rough for it's Connor. It's like Falco lasers, you know? You just like well, it's, it's Falco lasers that you can aim. Yeah. Um, or like angle. Right. And again, like I was saying, against Connor, this character has a great horizontal, well, not great, but like a decent horizontal recovery, and absolutely nothing vertical. So, okay. Uh, a little tentative. Doesn't here. quite get back to the stage. He was so scared of that forward yeah. smash, which he should be, but. Right. So is this a three? Oh, okay. Best of five. Yep, I see best it. Of I five. see it. Okay. Yep. It's this is winner so, semis. So one ban. Um, all right, we're gonna get a character change. All right. So if we're going Fox, we're then yes. Connor is gonna probably ban. Yeah, I would think FD probably right. Um, you think Connor's gonna ban FD? Well, I feel like the chain grabs are gonna be really strong. I don't know. But his own chain grabs are also oh, gonna be strong. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, I'm getting mixed up. Who's who? Oh. <laughs> but yes, Connor's the one. Banning. Right, okay, so. Interesting. Yeah. I do agree with this choice to switch to Fox. I think while his pit's fond and it's. Like, it's good. His yeah. pit's very solid. I think his Fox is going to be better in this matchup. Um, if only because he feels more comfortable in this matchup sure. as Fox. I almost feel like DK is the kind of character, too, that, like. If you don't know what you're doing against the DK, you, you just get messed. I feel up. like you almost have to give him a melee high tier sometimes because, like. 
he has, I feel like, such a like a really good spread against a lot of the like PM characters. What do you mean, give him a melee high tier? Like, I feel like he's gonna get out neutral by. Oh, like, give him as in like play one against yep, him. Yep. Okay, okay. So like a fox or yep. like a Marth. I mean, DK Mar Marth is kind of interesting, but like a Sheik. Like Sheik. Those, I feel like those characters are gonna shut down what DK wants to do in yep. neutral a lot. Compared I mean, to, like, no, it's even even kinda, like your melee shiny. high mids, uh, uh -huh. like Peach, Samus, Ices, yeah, totally. all do well against DK. So I could see that. Yeah. I never thought about it quite in that light. It's too low, but he didn't, does not go out and shine. I would say one tap would have pushed him. I've been really interested in this in the meta lately. It seems like there's a growing kind of divide between like like certain melee high tiers and like characters who are establishing themselves as like dominant in the P like specifically in yes. PM. Um I know that we've seen uh, it was Venom. Uh, yeah. Who, what is it? R three Venom now? Yep, R three uh, Venom. Who uh, believes that Falcon is number one in the game, yep. and I don't know of anybody else who fully agrees with him, yeah. but he makes a good case for why he's at least one of the top five. Yep. Um, and most people wouldn't say that, because it's Falcon, and you're just used to Falcon not being being good, but not being the best. Yeah. It's weird. But he does gain a lot of stuff out of uh, PM's movement options. Um, a lot of oh, people are starting in long the long opposite long. vein. A lot of people are starting to move Fox down their pure lists. Mm -hmm. And that's one that for the first 3.5 like patches, yeah. we never saw. You know what I can I would can say though at blacklisted two this weekend, first time we saw some like Fox mains placing like top eight for a while. You had you have Envy and Bacon Pancakes I believe yes. both made top yep. eight. Um, so maybe no. maybe a little bit of a. I, I think he's certainly yeah. a, one of the best characters. Definitely. But a lot of people are starting to make a case for him not being the number one that we yeah. thought. Good use of his invincibility there to clean up. Now we got an even game. Yep, I know Meta Knight, Wario, Rob. There's a few yeah, other ones yeah. that are usually thrown out in that same vein. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, that was a great follow up. Oh, dash attack, that was so my good! Oh gosh. Oh, oh. Connor. Oh, and I was just like super hype about like, oh that was a great tech chase yeah. follow, and then he just slams him. That's just oh my gosh. Connor, so I noticed that it's similar to Bowser's D tilt. He's using DKs so well, mm -hmm. and you, it's it's gonna make make it easy. That it's kind of a similar archetype character to his former main. Yeah, I would say, when is the last time we saw Bowser out of Connor, other than like friendlies? I would say in tournament. Yeah, I and not we're not counting in All Stars or anything like that. Uh, I would never. I feel like you'd have to dig pretty. You would have to go that. to the last patch, wouldn't you? Yeah. Okay. Maybe even like maybe even slightly maybe. before that last patch. Yeah, or like I don't know. Oh. That was a great. Oh wow. Okay. What I loved is that was the first time we've seen DK do a forward throw. Yeah. And you always see up throw. You always see down throw to follow up stuff. Sometimes back throw to throw people off, but. Forward throw oh, there just man. to do forward throw that's to fair. Just, that's just such a, such a smart use of the up B. Mm -hmm. uh, like, it just perfectly gets back. Man, those those two jabs and the an slap. approach. They're so quick. Mm -hmm. He just slaps him. Yeah, just like, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Amanzi's thinking hard. Amanzi's thinking. And I know this this has to feel good for Connor, who yeah. said that last time Amanzi solidly 2 0 him. Yep. Like, it's possible. It's certainly possible for us to see the the reverse 3-0. Or the, yeah. the, not reverse 3-0, but the reverse 3. But we see another character this game. So this is definitely a new... It's a new addition to Amanzi's yeah. roster. It's not quite there yet in my mind. It has some good performances. Oh, it's got some great but it performances. it also has, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm 2-0 against his Ivysaur in games. Yeah, it, and that's the weird thing. Like, it's got some good wins against some solid players. Yeah. It's just, it also doesn't do good IV things sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. I think what Amanzi needs to do to tighten it up, more than just learning combos and things that come with practice, or like learning some of the general like good setups for Solar Beam or for some of his sweet spots, mm -hmm. is he's not using those sweet spots. Or like, you'll see him grab and he very rarely pumps. Yeah. Stuff like that, and he's not making use of the like, That's I joked. Nice I joked when I made though. the. I joked when I made the Facebook post for this uh, event, which was Jank is just a tech you haven't learned to de yeah. to like use or to deal with or anything like that. He's not using Ivy's big thing, which is healing. Yeah, we have seen maybe 10, 15 percent healing in the stock so far. Right. All right. 
That being said, I, this has got to be rough for DK. Yeah. Uh, yeah those I can walls. See that. Walls, and now you've got a, a better projectile, I'd say, against. Yeah. Because where, where up he's going to get around some of the other things, I like think against a Razor Leaf, it's going to get caught in it. Right. Oh, I love the charge to back air. Okay, brings it up though. Yep. Another nice use of the up B as an edge guard. Mm -hmm. Yep, sometimes you got to edge guard and recover. What better to use? Yeah, I'm just always impressed. Like, Connor is able to use DK's full toolkit, yes. like, in so many situations. Yeah, and a lot of people have. The, one of the complaints about DK has been that he's a fairly one-dimensional character. You just kind of grab, rinse, repeat. Yeah. Um, but when you see this DK, is using everything. Yeah. I just I think that was such a, such a smart pick for him, like, you know, to adapt in the meta. Mm -hmm. To pick, like, a character with a similar archetype to his previous main. But, but that's a little bit better. Yeah, and like... In almost every way. Right, and, you know, we're seeing Thunder's Reign. Like, we're seeing that this character has the potential to win, like, regionals. Mm -hmm. And, like, be a threat at nationals. So, definitely, um... And I think that him for how far speaks that's coming heavily along. to 3.6, is yeah. that this character that... Even Thunder's Reigns and... Uh, like a lot will say that this is probably a bottom five. Yeah. And in a bottom five, we can still see them win huge regionals. Yeah. And that's so cool to me. Shout out to PM. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I would have liked to see the up B attempt there. Um, you know, I feel like it would have been safe to just even attempt it, you know, and then try and fall. FD is a very wide stage. So, despite all that we've just been saying about DK, if Connor loses this game, I, I think we've. Maybe not this, but I feel like we're going to see character switch if he loses, especially loses a second yeah. one after this. I think this is why it's really important to push for a character first. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen a couple sets today where I've really been like, like it, it just, I don't know, it gives you a more informed decision, I guess. Yep. I've had sets of my own like that today. Yep. Um, we've seen a few on stream. And I, I know I mentioned earlier uh, but I don't think you were quite on stream yet. All down B events from now on will be character first, yeah. unless the national scene switches again. Um, I don't think that's so. one of the big things is that I want our players to be prepared for going to out of region, out of state stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, I just think it's important to like pay attention to the national mm -hmm. meta, um, which is you know we're. St I feel like more and more we see that every day because like it's starting to solidify. Like, yeah. I mean, characters like this Ivysaur like clearly show that at least people are like paying attention to like kind of what's yeah. happening. Okay, but it's last stock. It's last stock, and Put we've already work. seen that there's been some amazing gaming potential from this DK. Yeah. Oh, oh that's but that's it. gonna push him too low. And see, that's this is the thing, like, I mean, like we were just saying that this IV doesn't seem as practice, it's but, not, but then it's again, got it's, he uses, but Amanza uses the tools available. Yeah. So well. Yeah. I'm okay, not, and there's I'm the character counter pick. Not surprised. Yeah. Nope. So, so they, then, they, which means that Amanti yeah. is staying. I mean, so now we are seeing what stages that informs. Yeah, I feel like the small. Okay. Oh yeah, well, one band. Of Ooh, course. I want. Is this three minutes clapping? Go. Yeah, it is. I love this song. <laughs> Yo, shoutouts to the uh, down B build. For those who don't know, this is from the world ends with you, the best mobile game I've ever played, or like handheld game on Nintendo DS. Go play it, please. All right, so far, a really strong start for Amanzi. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe Connor's Roy needs to get a little warm, but uh, regardless, oh, he's just he's spacing really well right now, and he's calling out Connor's attempted dash dances. It, yeah, no, it would, like, I would say Minnesota isn't a funny spot where I can point out, like, oh, these are issues with this Ivy, but this Ivy's beating one of our best players. Right. So, I guess I can't complain too far. Right. I can, I, but, but then again, the only Ivy's I ever watch are Soth and Machiavelli. Yeah. And that's about it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Some of the old, uh, old Ivy's have been pretty inactive lately. Yep. Um, that was Jay Z. I haven't seen Jay Z really much since 3.5, no. I think. Reflex Wonder doesn't really play any. I mean, no. I think he competes in locals, but doesn't travel at all. Yeah. Um, what will be interesting yeah. is there's a very good chance that in a month we will be able to see uh, Amanti take on Soth himself. Yo. Yep. Uh, Soth has definitely expressed interest in coming to push more buttons. I think he and Spicy are going to come, and they've already claimed that they are going to win teams. All right. So. <laughs> Well, I can't wait to see it happen. Yep. Okay, so it's almost a minute and a half gone. I mean, a minute and a half gone. 
Both of them still alive. 194% on green. At this kind of percent, though, like one touch kills from either player. It's whoever can get that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's it whoever can space. get that touch first. Like at certain points, you gotta stop thinking about like, well, there's a 70% yeah. difference when they're both above like 130. Yeah. That's it. Nope. This only gets the fair. He cannot get a solid kill move in right now. This is going to be it, though. It's yeah. back air. The fastest death you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have to check out that launcher speed in the, uh, <laughs> in the, in the game results. Yep. How far exactly did the grass type just fly <laughs> straight out of Green Hill Zone? Maybe that's why this IV is doing well. Yep. Do you think that IV gets stage advantage on Green Hill Zone? I don't know, it's tough to say because obviously the Fire Emblem characters are going to like this stage, but Drop Down Bear is such an amazing tool on this stage. Mm -hmm. Like, it can really make the edge guards one sided, I think. Yep. And that no, was a missed, missed opportunity there. Um, gave up the ledge a little early, unfortunately. I love that I was making a really crappy joke and you did, like, actually good detailed analysis on that. <laughs> so thank you. Because that, that was much better than I expected. <laughs> Josh has given us a look. I don't care. Just disappointed. Nah, this is just Josh. That's what he does. <laughs> okay, so now we have Connor taking yep. the lead. Um, I think Connor is getting wise to uh, Ivy's or spacing a little bit better. Yeah, he seems to be dancing around those yep. movement options a little bit more. Uh, the big disjoints that Ivy has are still have like gaps, and they still have yeah. spaces where it's. Like Ivy's not covering He's getting there. so much use out of the um, the dash attack as a follow up out of throws. Yeah, it's something it's popping him up and yep. it's, it's letting uh, Connor. Yeah, we see some, some dash attacks. Control. We see some down tilt. Uh, the the old Roy classic, the walk forward with him and then forward yeah, smash. Yeah, Okay, very nice. Um, Amanzi actually was playing uh, as Roy against me earlier in friendlies, and something he remarked is that when he tries to play Roy, and likely when he plays against Roy, and this, that's why I bring this up specifically, is that he, he gets confused because he wants to play him like Marth. Yeah. And it, they're very similar, but with huge key differences. Yeah. I mean, the big one being where the sweet spots are, yeah. um, but it that changes really the entire play style yeah. in a way because you're not trying to make use of the disjoint in the same way. Right. Okay, very nice. It's almost more akin to having a club than having a sword at that point. Mm -hmm. So one thing I think about this matchup is I feel like Roy definitely... Oh, okay, nice nice mm -hmm. ledge hold. Um, knew that he didn't really have any good options. I feel that... Like, you take away his jump, Roy does not have a great... Yeah, and that's Just it. calls him out and say... Just, no, no, continue, please. I was just going to say that I think Roy can, is a little harder to come back on because I think he can abuse crouch canceling more effectively crouch can than Roy's Ivy crouch Zora cancel can. is so Especially head -to -head. good. Yeah, it's one of the best ones. It's, I, I cannot think of a single crouch cancel better in this game. Yeah, I don't know. Samus has maybe a stronger crouch cancel game on the whole